Hey guys, uh, welcome to today's video, which is uh, a quick toolbox tour. Um, I use a Stanley open toes, I think it's about 16 inches uh, wide. Um, so, yeah, let's get into it. First thing, get yourself a knee pad, saving your knees while you can. Levels, levels are essential. Uh, go with Stabilla or Stanley Fat Max with the mag magnetic one. Um, pipe cutters, I use Robenberger, grow cut, and a brass bit. Uh, also use that, bit quicker for when you're doing 15mm and 22mm uh, speed fit pipe. Monuments, uh, new cutters, I had the Robenberger ones, but um, they were too expensive to keep buying if I you know, break them all using them. Um, Baco, little hacksaw, junior hacksaw. Just uh, a cheap socket set uh, for working on boilers or you know any appliances. Uh, screwdrivers, I use Weira. Uh, personally, just think you know Weira's good quality, you know lock and lock, and flexi one, you know for working on weird spaces stuff like that. Uh, a longer uh, posi bit for you know boilers in awkward places. Grips and spanners are the most basic plumbing tools you'll need to do most jobs. Um, you get this set, thirty pounds on Amazon. Dicky Dyer uh, grips. You get the medium, large, and obviously small. Baco, always go with Baco. Baco, sorry. Great quality, and I've get yourself an extra large one as well for working on like filters and that stuff like that. Um, little speaker on the job, you know, it's just dead handy in the bag. Rovenberger Superfire Two, um, you know, it's standard. Plumbers definitely need this one so you can control the heat. So lower on fifteen, you know, ten more pipe, and obviously ten up a bit on twenty eight and twenty two. Get yourself an Allen key set. Very essential. Um, so some fancy lock shield will have uh, an Allen key head instead of like a, a twizzle one that you use a spanner on. So Weira again, top quality and obviously the colour coded, you know, makes it look nicer. Uh, Hillmore bender guards, you need a pipe bender. Uh, monuments ratchet uh, radiator spanner for doing your tiles on those uh, you know tile rails or fancy ones. Voltage indicator uh, lights up if you you know something's got volts going through it and a torch on the end. Uh, Stanley knife, you know essential, and a Baco pen reamer for debare and pipes. Little strip set for wires, very handy for flexors. Uh, next, a VDE set of pliers. Just don't go to B and Q. Unless they're on offer, they just it's just too expensive for tools. Uh, Screwfix or Amazon online. Just get yourself some cheap PD sets. Now my new favourite, uh, it's a Jav Javac or Javac, whatever you call it, um, for a drain off valve. So and it's ratchet and you just reverse it. Very very handy. A marksman for those awkward tight holes, and it just fires a jet. You have a like chalk, you know, fast chalk. Smaller, extra wide spanners get you out the shit sometimes. Four mil Allen key for um, pump heads. Extra small, adjustable. Oh my god, I've lost the wheel to that. So get yourself one of them. Don't bother getting the cheap ones, they just fall to bits like that. Get yourself a proper rather than bare ones. Um, brass one, shine the pipes up on show, makes your job look a lot better. A little beaker from Asda, with your cloth to you know clean pipes off, get the flux off. Small tub of gas paste, uh, get the potable, potable one, potable, whatever you call it, um, for you know isolation valves if they're playing up. 10 more pipe slice, a lot better than using that. It's 
gets on your nerves sometimes. Keep or you know, it's hard to get into smaller places. Fire extinguisher, very handy. We'll get you out the crap when you know shit hits the fan. And a little scraper with a Stanley blade inside. That's very handy for getting silicon off when you're re-silicon, uh, you know, showers or baths, or sinks. Little stubby set, little stubby screwdriver. Monuments, um, olive remover of the old pipes that have got uh, compression fittings on. Very handy. About 20, 23 pounds or something, but it, it's worth it. Obviously, your gas cylinder, Ravenberger, not gas. Solder, lead free, obviously, for potable water. And this very handy little kit, little set. It's got all your tap spanners in. Your little box spanners. Yeah. Take measure, essential. And then a larger hacksaw for flues or cutting waste pipes outside. A light, you know, when you're working in dark, so you need a little touch. Always keep on your, your tool bag. Stop ends, radiator key if you lost the one on your person. Leak detector spray, it will save you, you know, ages. You know, make sure you don't go back to the job and there's already something wrong with it. Testing. Little baby ox hammer, very good for plying, uh, hitting things obviously. And it's just a lot better than a heavy hammer in some situations. Next is a. Um, these are, what they're called, bungs, uh, that's plumb piles one, which are very handy for small pipes. That one you need for the um, cisterns and the loft when you're pulling a vacuum. A little awl, awl, uh, or whatever you call it. Um, they're handy when you're doing bathroom furniture and you just need like to get your screw started or any appliance. Uh, flux brush, a little ox chisel for around the flue or you know cutting bricks get yourself a big one if you're doing bricks that's useless um, a shit a chisel just use it for you know knocking anything else PTA PTFE tape plumbers tape for everything just rad tiles leak strips whatever uh, next keep on yourself some free amp fuses Three amp fuses and um, you know the other set, little fifteen mil um, drill bit for wood. Pens usually keep them on person, and always carry around spare blades because you know if you're doing silicon or cutting open radiator packaging, it's a lot easier than having a blunt blade. So that's just a very quick insight to. The tool bag for a plumber, apprentice, heating engineer. Obviously, if you know you're doing gas, you're gonna need an analyzer, stuff like that. But that this, you know, this is just basic tools. You know, power tools come afterwards. Um, you know, maybe if you want to see that. So yeah, thanks for watching.